Very sweet lady. Thank you, Georgie. Well, heart disease is Australia's top killer. Every 10 minutes, someone in this country will suffer a heart attack. Back in June, origin legend Kerrod Walters was one of them. Despite being fit, a non-smoker and just 45, Kerrod suffered the fright of his life when the attack hit one night. He joins us now with his wife, Desley Martin, from their home on the Sunshine Coast. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. Actually, she's not my wife. She'd like to be, but uh, don't jump on the gun there, mate, please. Exactly. You're dreaming. I'm just trying to get the ball rolling on it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, that's all right, mate. Yeah. Mate, Thanks. you're a young, uh, you know, fit, healthy guy. What happened? Basically, I woke up one morning about 3 o'clock after watching Friday Night Footy um, and had a bit of a pain here in, in, uh, in my shoulder. Mm. I just thought I'd slept a bit funny and there um, was nothing to it. I got up to go to the toilet and then it hit me, all the uh, symptoms of a heart attack. So uh, Desi thought very quickly and we went straight to hospital. But, you know, you've been a fit, um, you know, healthy guy, obviously a footy player. You've played at the elite level. The last thing you would have thought there would have been heart problems... No, well, actually, when he, even when I got to the hospital, after they uh, obviously um, fixed me up, I, I thought that um, I didn't really know what it was, and uh, I was prepared to go home. They said, no, you've had a heart attack, you're going, you're going to the, uh, the coronary care unit. So uh, it was a big surprise to me, for sure. Um, Desley, for you, what were you thinking when it was all going on, and in the aftermath? Yeah, Carlos certainly wasn't thinking heart attack. I realised pretty quickly that something pretty serious was wrong. Um, he was deteriorating really quickly but yeah certainly there was no clutching at his chest or anything mm. like that I had no idea luckily I had no idea how close he was to to death at that time because I managed to stay pretty calm mm. and thought no let's you know let's get you straight to the hospital in hindsight I probably should have called the ambos too I got in a bit of trouble for for that from the ambos <laughs> um, but yeah I just threw him in the car as quickly as I could and um, I knew we were only five minutes tops from the hospital so yes as you you know very shocked very shocked that, because um, he is a fit guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, he did get a couple of warnings, though, which um, he should have probably listened to. Well, tell me about you those know, suggested warning... Suggested he go to the hospital. Tell us about those warning symptoms, because, I mean, I, you know, if you'd think, gee, how lucky you are, if you hadn't been fit, what might have happened? But in terms of those symptoms, for everyone else out there who might be watching now... Mm -hmm. Well, basically, uh, I went for a run one morning and um, actually had to stop because my heart felt like, well, like it was going uh, to explode. I just felt, felt that um, I'd actually had a few drinks the night before. I thought it was a bit of a hangover, so I just disregarded it. But um, in hindsight, it was my heart telling me that there's a bit of a problem here. You need to go and get checked out. And uh, it actually happened twice. Um, so, you know, the big message that, that guys, if you've got any, um, any, any issues, go and see the doctor mm. um, because it, you know, it could save your life. Anything hereditary mm. in all yeah, of this? No, no the, no, the family's all good and there's no mm. heart disease in the family, so um, it's, it's interesting because I was, I'm a bit of a, I uh, suppose, a, a, a trailblazer in the family. I was the first to play Origin, the first to play for Australia and the first to have a heart attack, so I'm, <laughs> I'm really setting, the, setting the, uh, the, the, the ball rolling for the family, so. You were going to say just something finally, Desley? Wasn't that funny or was that... F oh yeah, I was just going to say, you know, people too, even if Carrot had gone to the doctor and had his cholesterol checked, cholesterol, uh, he didn't have high cholesterol, it was really low, it was only four, so, you know, you don't only have to have that cholesterol check, but the, it's really important that they have a full heart health check, and that involves a stress test. They said if Kerrod had had a stress test, mm. they would have picked it up, and he wouldn't have had to go down that road and, you know, come as close as he did, you know, we were, we're so lucky to still have him here. Yep. One in two people don't make it to hospitals. So. And we are glad that you're here too, Kerrod, and to spread that message, to spread that warning is fantastic. Thank you, you two, for being with us today, we appreciate it. Thanks, Chuck. Can I just give the, the Heart Foundation a plug? Sure. Um, they're having their heart appeal at the moment, the door knock appeal. So, you know, it's, it's a really worthy um, uh, community program. So if you can get out there and support the Heart Foundation and um, you could save someone's life. Cool. Mm. Queenslander. <laughs> That's it. Like, I can't just say I'm a big fan of the show too, Carl. Magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you. Good to have you here, my man. He does. Very... He gets up every morning. Oh, good man. Well, nice of you to be on our show. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Great reminder, isn't it? Thanks, well, let's guys. get some weather now with Natalia. Hey, Natalia.